In Eastern Africa, you have the Rift Valley, which is one of the active zones as far as the tectonic plates are concerned. As it is an active zone, we have some geogenic pollution, which means uh, natural pollutants that happen within the subsurface. One of the ways that we consume these pollutants is via water. And in the Rift Valley, you have very frequently a lot of fluoride. Because you have too much fluoride in uh, the, the water, it starts eating up on the enamel of the teeth. So the same way that it eats the enamel of the teeth, it's actually working on your bones too. So eventually, the people who consume this water in the long term have severe issues afterwards with their bones. The other problem is that you can find heavy metals like arsenic. This can be a carcinogenic. What do you do? You are in the middle of nowhere. The only resource that you have is groundwater and this is polluted. And here is what we have today. The polluted water is here. So imagine this is the water that will be coming through the well. So as the water comes, we have a pump right here that takes it to the two core areas, which are right here where the cleaning is happening. As you can see, we have the plus and minus signs, right? So you know the cations and anions are getting trapped. As they come clean, then they get together and they come back here. We have here another sensor to be able to monitor uh, the outlet. And then the water that comes from here is clean. It's a very simple mechanism. It's nothing too fancy. You will train the municipality, the local government, on how to use this and how to maintain it. They will put it in a vehicle and then they will be the ones who will be going around to treat the water. They have put that technology in literally suitcases that can be transferred easily. What we are envisioned to do is to have this with solar panels to be used in the rural villages, at least in Kenya, as a starter.